Oh, hi. Welcome back to Hall Styling. Here's what's been happening. everyone and welcome back to Hall Styling. Um, I'm back and uh, here is the little prince. This is Teddy. Teddy look at the camera over there look. This is Teddy and he is a long-haired chihuahua and he's a little lover. Yes you are, you're a lovely boy aren't you? Okay let's address the element in the room. I now have a bob. My hair has grown it's been a long time. Uh, so I'm going to take you through um, my current makeup routine and just chat about what I've been up to and where we've been and kind of what's going to happen next. So um, if you'd like to see that, then keep on watching. Teddy! Teddy! I know, I know, gorgeous boy. All right, first let me just get my hair out of the way. There's nothing worse when you watch someone do a makeup tutorial and they constantly keep moving their hair out of the way. It drives me nuts. My makeup routine has been really minimal lately and uh, it just takes me about 10 minutes to do. So I'm going to go through my makeup and uh, talk at the same time, which uh, I'm sure I can do. First of all, I've been putting on the NARS Pore and Shine Control Primer just over my nose where I find that is quite pory. That's not a, a, a good term, but I think you get what I mean. And it fills in and smooths out those pores nicely. I then take the Chart Tilbury Flawless Filter, or Hollywood Flawless Filter, and I've got the shade Pale. And I put this under my eyes and up here. And I find it just takes the heat out of my dark circles. So I just put what's on the on the, the dofu oh, already. I don't like that word. And I just use my buffing brush and just kind of push that into the skin. Right, I then take my It Cosmetic CC. Now I've gone on to the oil-free uh, matte version for summer. Um, I find that the other one, what's it called? that I've featured on here quite a few times is a bit too oily for summer for me um, I've got quite oily skin this is good for summer um, so I'm going to switch between the two I'm going to wear this in summer and wear the other one in winter when I need a bit more moisture and I just do one big pump of that on my buffing brush and then buff this into the skin all over Right, so where shall I start? Let's start. Um, the last upload I did was back in October. I'll link that above if you want to have a look. It's a review of some makeup products. And while I was filming that video, I wasn't feeling very well. And that just seemed to get worse and worse over the coming weeks. And it was just an infection and then the infection got worse and then it just, it just never got better. And I was quite worried really of, of where where this pain was coming from and I was feeling very lethargic, very tired. Um, it, it pretty much stopped me doing a lot. I had to stop working for a while and obviously uploaded. And they found out in the end that it was a gallstone. I've got a large gallstone and I have to have that removed. Okay, so that, that was good, that's all sorted. But in the meantime, while I was having lots of tests done and scans they found out they found a couple of other things that it's not major but it affects it affects me day to day a little bit so they're ongoing at the moment and I'm under medication to help with those things so um but while that was all going on then we and I think I think actually why that was happening I think in November December time that that was when that documentary hit about uh, I think it was on Netflix 
minimalism came in more and we all found out that fashion was the second most pollutant and I think a lot of us was quite, we were all quite horrified weren't we really, let's be honest, that that was the case. We thought that when we were sending our clothes to to Africa that people were wearing them, not that they were just sat in massive dumps and causing problems for the people that live there and that our excessive consumerism of fashion is actually causing a lot of people's misery. And it really made me think that I don't want to be a part of that. And I think also that it's difficult if this is your job not to be. So I really thought thought about it just to say and then once I buffed it in I then press over with my beauty blender just to make sure it's all firmly into the skin and it really made me think that I need to change my own consumer habits what I promote on here and I have a responsibility in that that I'm not promoting to excessively shop so I thought I'd you know kind of change things up more now, I'll come back to that in a minute. I'm, just, I'm going in month order of what happened. So that all happened, it made me rethink really about how I want, where I want to go with this channel and kind of what I want to do in my own life. Um, my daughter got quite poorly and um, that's still something that's ongoing and I don't really want to overly talk about it. Um, because it's her business, not mine. But it has affected the family, and um, it has affected me. And when you're going through that, or are going through it, things like makeup and hair and fashion just seems really unimportant and irrelevant. And that's pretty much one of the reasons why I just didn't upload because it just wasn't a concern. One, because I was unwell myself and I just, working around a home, looking after the family, they're kind of all I can cope with and adding on more things um, made it difficult. Now I've stopped wearing concealer completely. I just uh, pop a little bit on where I need it um, I stopped, well, <laughs> I've said I've stopped wearing concealer, what I mean is I've stopped wearing it under my eyes. You can tell I'm so out of practice at this. And I just take brush and this NARS, the NARS uh, Soft Matte Complete Concealer. Don't bother buying this, it's rubbish. It doesn't stay on, but I'm putting it on because I want to use it up. And there's no point in throwing away product that it's okay, but it doesn't last all day which that's what I expect from a, especially from a matte concealer, uh, especially from a cream concealer, that it should really stay on longer than five minutes. Um, and I'm just, I'm just trying to use up the product. And then take my IT Bye Bye Pores powder. Once again, don't like this powder. It's good, it does fill in your pores and your face looks flawless, but if you have dry skin, I would stay away from it. I find it's uh, too much on the talky side. If I use this every day, I start, my skin starts to get a little bit too dry. And I feel like it's this powder that's drying it out more. But during the summer, I can take this, but in the winter, not so much. So if you have really oily skin, then this would be quite good for you. Um, but as you can see, it really does kind of smooth out the skin. Uh, right, let's go. Ah, this is really hard to try and remember everything that's going on. Uh, so then, we then decided to go and get a dog. And, actually, oh, he's laying down there at the moment in the sun. I will put on some clips while I talk about him. And his name's Teddy, and he's a long-haired chihuahua, and he's like a grey colour, and he's 
really brought a lot of joy to our family. So he is a lovely addition and he's just a little sweetie. He really is a good boy. And we're really enjoying having him in our family. Right, I just then, I just put on Charlotte Tilbury's airbrush floor finish, which you've seen lots of times uh, me using, just to pop that under my eye. I find with this uh, foundation, if I don't put any powder on, it starts to sit in the lines. So for me, I need to powder. But only a little bit I've put on. I don't put the Bye Bye It Cosmetics under my eyes because it's far too drying and it just sits there. Where Charlotte Tilbury, because she's got the oils in there, this is great for mature skin or... Um, as you hit your 30s and you start to get your fine lines, this is a great, great powder for that. All right, then you're going to start to see that I am actually using a lot of old products. Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Palette, my first contour palette that I bought. Look at it, it's absolutely battered. Um, and for me, this is fine to use because I sanitise my powders. Um, but it gets to the point when you sanitise them too much, they start to get this kind of funny... Uh, film over them and this is fine for me to use uh, I wouldn't use it as a client but I am trying to just instead of keep buying new things I am trying to use what I have got and use that up so that's where my low buy is coming into into play as well I'm now really just using all the products that I have already in my possession and not buying any new ones and you'll see that as you go along that some of the products I don't like, but I'm just going to use them because I want to use them up. So here, I'm just taking these two colours, which are not really my colours, um, but they work for this kind of season, summer season. They're a bit too orangey, I think, for me. But when I blend it with a darker one, it's not too bad. And I just take these on the high points. I'm just bronzing here. I'm not contouring with this. I am just bronzing around where the sun would naturally hit just to kind of warm the skin up and then I'm going to take this across my nose like I love the sunglasses kind of look across the nose take it and I kind of take it under the eyes as well so we've really got a nice color to the skin and then just squish my brush a bit because I'm being incredibly lazy and I just take this across my eyes as well. Like I said, this is a very quick minimal, but I'm just tying in all the colors that I'm using. And I find I have to just put a bit of powder on my lids because they crease as well, being oily. With all these things that have been going on in my personal life, uh, oh, actually, I'm just gonna tell you, I'm taking a cream blusher. This is Illamasqua's Dixie, another old product. Um, <clears throat> And I'm using the Dew Fine Brush. This is great for cream products if you just want to, because these are quite fierce colours. And I'm just taking this over my cheeks. I'm going to do kind of old school blush root. So old school kind of how they used to apply the brush blusher is they didn't have bronzers back in the 1940s and 50s. And they used to take their blusher, apply it on the high points, quite high up here. And then they would take it across the temples as well across the nose a little bit on the chin and that way they were kind of tying everything together but giving a kind of lovely glow at the same time so it's quite an old technique but the oldies are the goodies aren't they and um i love this blush it gives you right life it gives life to my skin so with all the change of direction and pollution and animal cruelty and the fact that um, having a gallstone, my gallbladder, I had to, I've had to change my diet, so I had to actually stop eating meat. I can eat chicken, but not massively, um, but the less meat you eat, the more you kind of get used to that, and you actually start eliminating other meats. So, I can't eat red meat, I can't eat pork, and so I've just started to eliminate it more out of my diet. Right, so that's my kind of base done for the moment, and now I'm going to go on to brows, and I'm using the Benefit Brow Wiz thing. It's alright, L'Oreal do a better version, or even the same version. I didn't, I didn't think it was fantastic, to be fair. Um, right, let's go back to change direction. 
So I'm not a vegetarian or anything, I'm just cutting down on meat, my meat intake. And that makes you kind of start to think about a lot of makeup products are still, you know, uh, used on animals. And I would like to venture more down the non, the uh, cruelty free route of, of my makeup, of what I use. So whatever I have that's not cruelty free, I am just using up because I think it's more wasteful to throw it away. That's a waste of an animal's life to throw it away rather than just use it up and then don't repurchase again. So certain brands that I'm not going to repurchase from again, if NARS, they're not cruelty free, unfortunately. Um, Charlotte is, which is great, Charlotte is. It Cosmetics is cruelty free. Um, I'm just trying to look what else I've got down here that's not. Ilamasca, I believe, is cruelty free, but I need to check that. Um, so I've started doing that as well, of eliminating, I'm not buying any um, products that are not cruelty free. So anything that you do see me show that, oh, that's still used on animals, I'm not buying it again, I'm just re I'm just using it up. Right, so the next thing I've been using is uh, Benefit Cab uh, Cabral. It's rubbish. It's, I don't like it at all. I got a kit, um, uh, one of those Christmas gifts boxes, and I got that, and it had all the brown products in, and this is probably the gel one, the, probably is the gel one, but it's probably the worst one. Um, look at it already dry, it dries out so quickly and separates. But like I said, I'm going to use it, I'm going to get rid of it, and I just brush this with a little brush through my brows. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, also with my low, my low by year, I'm not going to do um, any hauls. You will not see any hauls on my channel anymore because I do not want to promote buying new things. I don't get sent stuff from PR anymore now. Now that I've stopped blogging, um, I don't get I don't get anything anyway. So I'm not because um, I'm not going to buy anything. You're not going to see anything new. But I am going to show old products that you may have and maybe you just need a bit of inspiration on how to use them. I mean we we have so many palettes. I have I have I don't have a lot of eye palettes but I've got a few being a makeup artist and I look and I think that colour is the same as in that one. Why have I bought that? And I'm not doing that anymore. I'm just gonna use up what I've got and stop keep buying new ones. See, they're not brill. It's not, it's a rubbish product. I don't like it. I mean, there's cheaper gel ones out there if you like to have a gel brow. It's not my fave. Save your money. Uh, okay, so a little, uh, where's it gone? A little thing that I do, do, do. Just take the pencil brush and I just go underneath, just take a bit of bronzer. And I just go underneath my eyes just to give this a bit of base, kind of powdery a bit more. Just go nice, cl nicely close to my lashes. So I'm going to zoom in here. Let's just zoom in. And then you can, oh, let's put up a bit. And then you can see what the technique is that I do. Now, I read this. Oh, a long time ago that Madonna's makeup artist does this and she takes a pencil so what she did is I'm going to have to get a little mirror here and she just put tiny dots where the lash you can see like your lashes clump together just put tiny dots at the root of that and it just subtly highlights the eye. I think it's a really nice little trick. So I've just drawn a line and then having it really harsh. And then when you do your lashes, it makes them look longer and more, more distinguished. 
mascara now on, I've done that now, and I am going to just finish off with um, my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Beauty Light Wand. This is a beautiful, beautiful product to use, and you turn it and squeeze it out, but I've got, and then I just kind of use the excess each day, that's left on it, I'll look at my lip, and just pat that into the skin. But I don't like the packaging, I think it's rubbish. I think the packaging's really hard work to use and it disperses too much product and then you're left kind of, it gets all over the, it gets all over this, it's all over that. It's, it needs a rethink, but the formulation is very, very beautiful. Very gleamy. I like the gleam that it gives me. At the Something I've been doing before I put my lipstick on is taking the concealer brush and just going over my lips so it cancels out any colour. And then my lipstick's been going on really more, more nicer, stay more fresher, uh, it looks a nicer colour as well. And I am using, once again NARS, this is an old product, the Dolce Vitae. <laughs> no, the Dolce. <laughs> The Dolce Vita uh, Velvet Matte Lip Pencil. That's my finished look. Someone has come to join me, which is little Teddy. Here he is. He's been sunbathing, haven't you? You've been sunbathing. Yeah. He's a lovely boy. Oh, I'm gonna let you go. Go on, Ted. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, and I know I was a bit evasive of what has been going on and not giving a lot of detail but I hope you respect that some things you just don't want to talk about on the internet and um, to know that I'm okay and everything's okay and um, I can't, I won't be resuming back to normal uploading schedule of every week, I can't commit to that at the moment. Um, but I'd really appreciate what you would like to see on here. Um, I was thinking um, I might do a updated um, hair kind of routine and what products I'm using now um, with my newer, with my different hairstyle that I've got at the moment uh, or the kind of growing out process if you want to see how I kind of achieve that. I mean. I'm, yeah, I'm pretty much there now. I'm pretty much there to the bob level, uh, and I'm I am growing my hair, so I'm just going to keep keep going with it. Yeah, let me know what you would like to see and what would interest you. That would really help me out because I think I'm just feeling a little bit lost of what what you guys really want to see. So let me know, and also you probably noticed I hit the 1K subscribers, which is. Woo! very exciting <laughs> and I didn't do anything for eight months so that's that maybe that's the key you know, not to do anything for eight months and then you get more subscribers I don't know uh, so just let me know what you would like to see that would really help me out and thank you once again for being so patient and some of your messages that you've sent me um, I've really appreciated them and thank you so much and I look forward to seeing you all in the next couple of weeks uh, with a new video okay take care bye